Hi everyone, welcome. Just pulling this up on my laptop so I can see any comments you make. Of course now it's deciding to be slow. <laughs> oh, always happens. There we go, I can see the red tag. There, perfect. So welcome. Um, I know not everybody is here yet. It's a little early. Well, it's not early. It's right on three o'clock. I'm not gonna lie. Um, today I'm gonna try and move a little bit faster than normal. Unfortunately, our teachers in our area have had to go on strike, um, which means that I have a four-year-old at home. Sorry, I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit. Um, so as much as I support the teachers, it does make Facebook Lives a little bit more difficult than normal. Hi Valerie, welcome. So a lot of the stuff today, because I do, I have to be cautious of the fact he's probably going to interrupt seeing as he wanted a sandwich two minutes ago for sandwich number three and four of the day. Um, I am going to, I have a bunch of things pre-cut today and pre-die cut just to kind of make sure that we get through the card as much as possible with as few interruptions as possible. So today um, I'm going to do a card using the Painted Poppies stamp set along with the Peaceful Moment stamp set. Um, these are part of the same suite of products. There are coordinating dies with them that I'm not using today, but <clears throat> both are gorgeous. I love the fact that the, the images in the Painted Poppy suite and the Peaceful Moments has some great sentiments. Life is better with a friend like you. Always remember, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Thinking of you with all my heart. Um, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy, with deep, deepest sympathy. Thank you and wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. So some really fantastic sentiments. There is also coordinating designer series paper, which I have been featuring on my blog this week. So make sure you check that out at stampandcreatewithlisa.net. So to get started today, um, I saw a card done by, I'm sorry, Claire Daly, and I wanted to base it on hers. It's, it's very, very similar, but I had a couple different ideas. So to start, I have a bunch of pieces of paper. <laughs> um, a four and a quarter inch by 11 inch piece of paper scored at five and a half to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Next I have, and this is in gray granite. Um, next I have this piece of also gray granite, four inch by five and a quarter inch, and I've embossed it with the tufted embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yes you can, perfect. So I'm going to adhere that down with my tear tape. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. Had a bit of a tickle in my throat. So we'll get the tear tape. Of course, I cut my nails last week and I must have cut them too short because now they're driving me crazy. I can't seem to do what I want to do. Oh, never fails. You can't win. I know, Valerie. I love it too. It's a nice, soft embossing folder. It looks really gorgeous if you have the rhinestones or pearls to put them right in the corners. It's a beautiful embossing folder and it's perfect for a lot of things. And Claire had used it and I thought, you know what, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna dig it out and make sure I use it. So next up, I used the stitched, sorry, the rectangle stitched framelit dies, 148551. And the first one I used is roughly, it's just over two and a half inches wide by, we'll say four inches long. It's on Highland Heather um, cardstock, sorry, which I ran through the subtle embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and wave it around a little bit so that it catches the light. But the subtle embossing folder just makes things look like linen, which is kind of a nice feature. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on the back. Yeah, that works. Honestly, it looks about the same. 
We'll put our tear tape down. And this piece, I want about a half inch or so from the edge. If I use the rough line that's created by the embossing folder, that works well. So I'll put that down. Next up, oh, hi Vicki, thanks for joining us. Yes, Valerie, you're right. The subtle embossing folder is a fabulous one. It's one that if I'm gonna grab anything, that's what I'm gonna grab. So this is the poppy that's standing in the painted poppy set. And it's actually one I hadn't used yet. So it seemed like um, a great one to use. We'll get that inked up with Memento. And stamp that down. And then before I put that away, I used the small rectangle stitched, sorry, I also used the stitched rectangle on this. This one is roughly one and three quarters by three and three quarters. And this one here is roughly one and three quarters wide by one and a quarter. So gives you a rough idea if you're looking at them because there are a lot of rectangles in that set. So I'm going to stamp the happy birthday because I don't know about anybody else, but birthdays are the one I need the most. Perfect. And I love the mixture of the fonts in this set. So I'm going to set those aside. I'm not going to clean them today. I'm actually, I have everything pre-cut to do a second card after. And I'm going to use, <coughs> sorry, the Highland Heather and the Old Olive blends. So I'm going to, oh, picked up my sentiment with my tear tape. We'll put that down for a minute. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the light first. I'm going to just do it really quick. And I'm not going right to the edge on all the petals on purpose this time because I want it to be really light there. And then I'm going to use the dark. And I'm just going to do more of the base than anything. And then I'm going to take the light and pull it up and blend it in. There. And then I'm going to do the little butt off to the side here. But when I saw the card by Claire, I really liked the colors she had used. Everybody's been, of course, gravitating to red for the poppies. So it was kind of nice to see something different. That'd be the blend that is not working properly. But where it's going to be perfect is actually down this stem. When they're slightly dry, they don't blend or bleed as much. Sorry. Get this. There we go. So there's the light. We'll get a little bit of accent going with the dark especially right at the base because that's where you would have a shadow oh and actually right there with the leaf attaches too and then we'll blend it in so I'm going to try and do this with the brush tip. Sometimes with the, the thinner line images, sometimes I find the brush tip easier and sometimes I find the small tip easier. It just depends. But this where it doesn't have to work perfectly is great. Oh my goodness, I apologize. I've been cleaning and organizing all day. So 
let's just say I've been making great use of my day off because if you're going to have a day off, then uh, you might as well use it. Actually, I think I'm going to go this route. It's the sentiment that I'm debating. I will go that way. Okay, now that I've decided. Thanks, Valerie. <laughs> okay. Give this. Pick up the backing off my tear tape. And I'm going to center it top to bottom, but then put it right on the edge. Just like that, so it's a little bit different than the original. And then this one I'm going to take and put up on dimensionals. And we'll put this, oh, there's my little buddy calling me. He was told, though, he's going to have to come down. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going to just dig through here and see if I have any purple gems in the Highland Heather color or close to it. And if not, so I don't think I do. Um, oh, oh, I I do, or I have some that'll work. So these are the Noble Peacock rhinestones. So I believe they're actually supposed to be gorgeous grape, but I I find the two coordinate well enough that it's not an issue whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, he does believe me. <laughs> he has to, he has no choice. <laughs> but we'll give that and there and there. So, very simple today. Well, very simple and very fast because I did everything ahead of time. Um, I do apologize for that, but I did want to make sure that I got everything. My second version, I probably will actually put this back over here just a little bit and just leave a thin border there. That would be the one change I would make. But thank you so much for joining with me today. Um, I do apologize that I did everything in advance this time, but I wanted to make sure that I successfully completed a card. So to purchase supplies to make this card, you can go to my online store at lisahenderson.stampinup.net. You can purchase it online or you can email me your order at stampandcreatewithlisa at gmail.com. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next week. Thanks, bye now.